It's Christmas Eve Eve! Welcome to the show, guys. Thanks for joining me. Santa's probably, for the sake of, uh, probably Japan, he's already delivering gifts to, right? What time is it? It's 2 a.m. Christmas Eve. Oh, he's not started yet. Never mind. Very soon, though. He's gonna have to get out. Uh, yes, he's moving to the South Pole, according to the Canadian government says he's moving this. I am recording, thank you, SIT Yoshi. According to the Canadian government, Santa's moving to the South Pole. You can thank the Liberal government that we have in place right now for getting Environment Canada to issue a statement that regards global warming as a thing. <laughs> Our uh, Conservative government would not have done so. Uh, so, we're on the third chapter here. Oh, it is. I did, it looks like my green screen moved. There we go. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny <laughs> is that that, um, that statement, the, there's this uh, political reporter here, Robin Urbeck. If you want to look her up on Twitter, R-O-B-I-N Urbeck is, I think, U-R-B-Y-C-K, or maybe E-C-K. Anyway, she's hilarious, and she comments on Canadian politics. She's a opinion editor for... Uh, for CBC. Anyways, she likened the statement from our government to that. Phew! To that polar bear that starved video that went around and said that she was saying, like, by the way, all the elves are dead too. Because, like, in a way, that statement, it's so politically charged and using Christmas as a political football. These guys see it from so far away, huh? Um, I don't know, it's just, it's kind of lame. <laughs> Scaring kids because of uh, a political thing. But I guess maybe kids should know about global warming. You know, kids shouldn't know about global warming because <laughs> that's the type of shit that makes a kid fucking like you fuck up their head. It fucks up their head. Like kids, little things can really mess kids up, and they're gonna like they hear like the doom and gloom of it, and they'll be like, "Oh my god, we're all gonna die. I don't want to die. The world is crumbling. I'm just born, and the world is already like going to fucking hell." Uh, you know, it's gonna work out. <laughs> it's like when Trump got elected and everybody was saying how, like, their kids were calling in sick because they were too depressed to go to school, and it's like, you put that on them. You made them feel like the world is over because of it. They don't need to be dealing with this shit right now, and you put that on them. That's on you. If they really feel so depressed they can't go to fucking school. They're children. Yeah, I think I need to make some things here. I'm not, I don't, I, I think I ended the last episode using up some of my best weapons. All right, I need to get into this building if I want that blueprint, but this thing's locked, so maybe there's another entrance or maybe this place just unlocks later. Yeah, this looks like a story-based area.
Yeah, that's probably what it is. Unless... I don't see a way up. Yeah, I like this outfit. <sighs> the game says that my story is uh, that I'm 35% of the way through the story, and I've been really taking my time, so I guess there's probably like. 10 chapters or 9 chapters, so, um, I mean, if I, if I really knuckled down, I think I could get through the story pretty quick. I just want to get all the blueprints, because I want the greatest variety of killing as I play the game as possible before I start to, like, you know, wipe it out. Man, I swear, the zombies are way more competent than they used to be in this game. That was a pretty good shot. <laughs> I think I've already been in here. No, no, I don't want that. There we go. Uh oh, guess I have to clear this out. There, go get that. Oh, it's this place again. This fucking, I couldn't find this blueprint. I still don't know where it is. This one in the, in this place, it doesn't like show up. I can't, I can't spend any more time trying to get it. I don't know how to get it. It must be on the roof. There must be some weird way of getting on the roof. That's the only thing I can think of. Whatever it is, it's not obvious. guys are really fucking... <laughs> Persistent, man. key should be near the side entrance. The key for what, though? The blueprint's not locked behind anything. Or was it? Oh, did I actually figure out where it was? It was a door. Yeah, there was a door. Yeah, I did figure it out. That's how short my memory is. And you think that it's near the side entrance? Let me just look at the door again. As if I forgot that that quickly. Yeah, yeah. And then behind it is a locked thingy. And you're saying that... So, oh, there's the key. It's just sitting there. Wow, as if I missed that. That's annoying. There we 
There we go. Thanks for your help. You gotta be kidding me, man. I don't have the... Man, this looks awesome. I need the blueprint for this. I hope this is it. No, Creep Fryer. Oh good, food truck plus enduro bike. I like vehicle combos. I recall that this game had a bit better graphics on the PC. I also feel as though the graphics on Dead Rising, uh... Three had better graphics. And that was on the play, uh, on the Xbox One. Which is weird, because... Usually, the Xbox sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just too biased. Wow, that's pretty good. Hockey stick. Alright, where do I want to go now? Over here. Oh, I was over here and it was locked. Alright, I'm gonna... I guess I'll try to get something done then. If that place was locked. We'll go to the... Pursue the Convoy. So there's a convoy that's carrying the super zombie that they have, like, trapped inside of a back... Uh, in, like, a prison military vehicle. And they're transporting it for some reason. Maybe so that they can study it? There are way too many of these fresh zombies around! They're so powerful and annoying. I need... Uh-oh. Oh, come on. I need a vehicle. There's one. Fuck! Off for a second! They're way too good in this game. I like my zombies slow and stupid. Oh, there's an exosuit. I could use that. That could be fun. This feels like a waste using the railgun. Like, fuck this weapon. Use my fists. It's way more fun. Like, why would I use a railgun when I can do that? The only downside is you have to take off your Rudolph head. A little bit of a glitch. Alright, I should actually get somewhere since I was trying to. Before this started. It was this. Oh, this just powers me up more probably, right? Oh yeah, I forgot. It doesn't just like it, it yeah, it makes you better. Yeah, I forgot about that. Rad 
I found the container truck. There's something not right, though. I'm gonna investigate. Don't get eaten, Frank. Good advice. Thank you for that. Hey. You. Lend a hand, will you? Oh, God. You're Frank West. Look, I, I'm in bad shape here. Dude, hurry up. I need morphine. There's some at the North Peak safe house. If you grab me a few hits, I'll tell you what we were hollering. Deal. Deal. All right, all right. I'll think about it. Oh my god, I'm not I'm not even gonna get to use this. Come on. Well that sucked. Yeah, it really sucks that um the exoskeleton uh, the exosuit has such a limited amount and that the timer, the energy counts down while you're just doing nothing. It should only count down when you do moves, you know, so that you can like... I don't know. I'm gonna enjoy this song. I didn't buy the soundtrack, no. Better clear this place out. Oh, I can just, oh, okay, it already was cleared. Godson. You want to survive, don't you? Downstairs is morphine. So I'm pretty low energy today. I wanted to do a show all day and I just couldn't psych myself up to do it. And even at this point, I'm like feeling like a little bit drained. I don't know what it is. We'll see how long I have in me. Hey, there's a key? I missed this last time I was here. Oh, that's the morphine, that's what I need. Well, yeah, it kinda sucks Becky's out. not around. I, uh... You know, I used to actually kind of enjoy my time alone, like, I used to, like, if Becky had to go for the holidays to see her family, I was kind of excited to have, like, a full week just to kind of, you know, do nothing, you know, like, it just be, alone time can be nice, um, I don't enjoy it as, as much anymore. Definitely not like Becky is ever. She's very easygoing and not at all. Don't want to go out there empty-handed. You know, crowding or anything like that. But yeah, you know, it, sometimes it can be nice just to be completely alone. Um, and I'm never alone with you guys. It's true. I better go bring in this. Uh, All right, you guys, get out of the way. Turkey, dried cranberries, and groovy. Hope that one had a shirt. Flavor sensation that's sweeping the nation. Now we can limit it down. Come down to Hungry Joe's Pizza. Chris, 
clean, perfection immaculately restored. The Golden Apple Winery has reopened to the public. Come taste our award-winning ice wines in a flavor experience critics have described as transcendent. Tastings daily. Ice wine. I don't know, like the point of ice wine is that it creates a different flavor because the crystals, when the grapes freeze, change the taste of the, um... Is that you, Wes? Sorry, I can't see so good. What? That's not worth anything? Come on. Yeah, it changes the taste, I guess. I don't know, I just don't like wine. It's too sweet, man. Oh, yeah. You're a good man, West. But look, I, I can't tell you what we were hauling. But I can say the command, they were calling it a recovery op. We were shipping it out of town for R&D purposes. Interesting. Okay, if you find a blanket, or some booze, you know, just... All right, now what the hell is going on here? up better this door was punched out from the inside what the hell did this looking for all these guys do is hang out oh it's that god damn it No idea. But whatever it is, it's Godzilla. Man, I got some good Strong, range friend. stuff. But this is not good. The hitmaker sucks. And sports a serious hate on for Obscurus. I'm gonna. What was that? My Pulitzer. You gotta go. Train cars strewn everywhere. You think Calder did that? God, I hope so. I'm not sure why I'm parkouring this. I could be down there killing zombies for fun, but... Eh. I mean, there's lots of them. There's a good horde here.
<laughs> I'm not gonna have any like melee weapon when I get there, so I better actually avoid these guys a little bit. I feel like there might be something special in this place over here. I don't know why. Looks all special. Oh, it's not. Oh, Brad, the trail leads into the old sewer tunnel. Brad, you there? Shit. Don't worry, Frank. Nothing bad ever happens in the sewers, right? Oh, I found a key. Could have passed that by easily. It's just a story key. What's about to explode? Well, at least I know I'm going the right way. It's interesting that things continue to happen off screen that far away. Like, is the game actually calculating hordes of zombies that aren't even on screen right now? That fucking... what the fuck? Oh, there's a collectible right there. Should, might as well get it. It's free PP. God damn it. Come on. Where is it? Oh, it's the newspaper. You know, the funny thing is, um, Capcom actually flags these cinematics. <laughs> That's a lot better than just putting them in like an outfit. Good, good, nice, super weird zombie. You are a normal zombie. You'd be a piece of 
Oh, I guess I did good. Oh, that's not good. What the hell? Are you kidding me? Worst threesome ever! Stop it! You're killing the kids! I should probably just get my uh, explodey. Um... Yeah, that's what I want. My blambo. Gotta love the blambo. There we go. There we go. That's the way to do it. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> I think I made it. I think I made it. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Mr. Webb, my name is Diane Blackburn. I'm Obscurus's research director. You must come to Westridge so we can meet. Huh. Is this going to be an on-the-record conversation, Dr. Blackburn? Tell the ZDC I want to be evacuated by helicopter in the next 48 hours. In exchange, I have information. I'll see what I can do. Until then, why don't you wet my appetite a little? I didn't start the outbreak, Mr. West. We were here long before that. Years before. Do you remember a certain scientist by the name of... Doctor? Dr. Blackburn. Hmm. That did not sound good. It's never really explained why Frank is able to be contacted by these people. You never even see the radio that he apparently has. Uh... Why wouldn't I take a shortcut? Is there like another... Like you can't even go that way, so yeah, I guess I'm taking a shortcut. How's everybody's Christmas Eve Eve? I just got word that people go are one. being held prisoner at the pirate ship in Caribbean Cove. Better go check it out, in case they do something crazy. This should be interesting. Man, me and Becky, we really beelined this shit when I was playing it the first time we encountered this game, because I remember going back to the mall, too. Hey, I didn't get to defeat the maniacs, what? Or that just became a thing? That's great to hear, everybody. That was easy. <laughs> Blambo, you are the best. There we go. Thanks, man. Stay alive. It's too much. <laughs> Give her a 
I'm just hitting the thing in front of me. I hate it when games do that. If you can see it in your reticle, it should fire it properly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what does... I need to look at my vehicle blueprint so I know what I can put together if I want to. I haven't been driving around with awesome vehicles enough, I think. Go-kart and shopping cart, military... Okay, if I see a military RV, I can combine it with the ATV. There must be one nearby. Maybe even in here. Nope. Oh, there it is. Nice. The warmonger. gonna check and see if I can get into whatever's in here. Oh, it's this. I do have the key. You need to fuck off. God damn it. Oh my god, they just never stop. What the hell? Oh, I don't need that. What's this? Oh. Just uh, leveled up. Oh, way over there, Jesus. Oh, I'm allowed into the gated community now. That's nice, because I was wondering how I got that last blueprint. All right, here we go. Am I going the right way? Yes, I am. It feels good to do it. It feels good to do this. Yeah, it feels good. I like it. Ah, man, you lose your streak so fast. Once you get that going, or once it's up to like 500. Which way am I going now? Okay. Let's follow this along. Second road, I turn left. Oh, this place is so good. 
Oh my god, yeah, that feels good. Oh, that looks good and it feels good. It's awesome. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> this is like... Yay. Yay. No, it stopped the streak. Merry Christmas, everybody. It feels so good. I'm running out of zombies. I almost got them all cleared out. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right. There was that was there an exosuit over there? Oh hey. No good. You make a note of this for later. Yeah, I can do that event right there. Oh, it's a survivor. Oh shit! I, if I had known, I would have gone there quicker. Shit! Oh, you fucking idiot! You're gonna get killed. There's too many of them. Get him off! All right, I gotta get in there and help him. That was close. Good thing I didn't have to uh, escort that fucker. If I had to escort him, he wouldn't have made it. There's no way with that. I think there's an exosuit right on the church. There is, and then there's the vacuum upgrade too. the buttons I can press square and then I think it's triangle or Fun, y'all. Yeah, it's R2 that I can do. I can suck them towards me or something. It doesn't, like, seem to do a lot, actually.
almost out of juice. Yay! I'll get back in my vehicle now. Well, what's this? Oh, you can't wear it. Oh yeah, the Nutcracker, if I can get the blueprint, the Nutcracker can combine with like a machine gun to make a weapon that's kind of fun. Is the game grindy? Uh, no, it's too easy to be grindy. <laughs> the grinding is there purely for pleasure. I mean, you can technically grind, but I don't see any point in it besides fun. Somebody the other day said that killing zombies in this is like the equivalent of popping bubble wrap, and I would say that's very accurate. There's no reason to do it. <laughs> You don't need to do it at all. In fact, like, you'd probably get more than enough experience throughout the game just doing the story missions and the, the circumstantial zombies that you end up killing. I can't speak for higher difficulties, but, uh, ooh, I can use the touchpad to do that. What an age to live in. This vehicle lasts forever. Maybe it's because I got that upgrade. Is this another wrong turn? I keep making wrong turns. I have a lot further to go. Yeah, it's open now. I'm not allowed in with my vehicle. That would be my pleasure. In the meantime, I caught another one of Vic's reports. Take a listen. Heard the ambush ended with gunfire. I have no idea how they made it out alive. The end justifies the means, right? Using people as resources to get the next piece of the story. I can't think it. Oh, I can go through. Yes, Vic, I am all the evils in the world. Well, you did leave a helpless man tied up in a dark room 20 feet from a live firefight. Pfft, whatever, he was fine. Uh-huh, sure he was. Let me start out the evac. Park out. Obscurus has a detachment at the end of the block. I'm gonna check this house for that blueprint. Hey, I didn't even, I wasn't even, I couldn't even, I wouldn't, you didn't, let me. How do we, is this house actually supposed to be what I'm supposed to be doing? From the other side? Oh, it is. <laughs> Defeat the obscurest soldiers. It's hilarious what's expected of Frank. 
There's a fucking helicopter there. I'm not going in there. I don't think you're meant to approach from this direction. They haven't even noticed me yet. And then, like, a big guy was just airdropped. <laughs> It doesn't seem like the zombies are getting anything accomplished, though. Like, I, th I thought that maybe the zombies would kill some of the soldiers, but it looks like I have to do the work. Is there anything else I can do? Maybe I could uh, come up with a surprise ambush. I mean, I'm already, I've already got the element of surprise, I think. They don't notice me over here, it's great. I think he's dead. Yay! <laughs> All right. <laughs> People still don't notice me. Uh-huh. I mean, I should go in with my warmonger, right? Because why wouldn't I? I'm gonna have to get back around the block, though, I guess. Uh, oop! Yeah. Fucking... Oh my goodness! Yay! Alright. Are you guys the valets? I never know what to tip these guys. If you think I'm funny, make sure to smack that, smash that, whatever it is. Right. So lonely. He disarms her that easily. What are you doing here? What am I doing? What does it look like I'm doing well, here? I am definitely not conspiring with a paramilitary group. Not doing that, Vic. That's not what I'm doing. And I'm not torturing a woman for a cloak while a bunch of trigger happy jarheads guard the door. I'm not doing that either. That's, That's not what I'm doing. It's not what I'm doing. What are you doing? Because I'm having a hard time seeing it. I am trying to figure out who these soldiers are working for, how the outbreak began, and what these assholes did. You sold out Hammond and her people. They almost got killed. Do you know that? Are you aware of that? The commander issued a no-kill order, and then Tom's people attacked first. And you believe that? 
How fucking naive are you? Hello? Shut it! <laughs> no, 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 I know what this is about. You're trying to get the big story, right? The big scoop. <laughs> this is what this is all about for you, isn't it? Just take what you want and cash the check. <laughs> get out of here, Bucky. <laughs> you'll ever be god she is just so fucking lame what the hell frank we need to get out of here they could come back who was that, that friend of yours make sure you get that full body shot that's how real journalism works that's how photography how goes man Obscurus. it's all based on a project that was abandoned 15 years ago 15 years that's back to the original outbreak. Yes, this project was performed at a secret laboratory hidden somewhere here in Willamette. And let me guess, Obscurus has been looking for this secret laboratory. Obsessively. The work that went on there, it has the potential to change the very nature of human existence. Wow, shit. Here, look, take a picture if you want. Man, you gotta pick up the snit liquid nitrogen. These things are like gold. All you have to do is combine them with like any knife and you've got a, like a sword that's made of ice. I want... Oh. Hmm? Hmm? Oh, blueprint. Huh. Let's try it. Holiday bell plus any gloves. Okay. I love the holiday bell as it is. Uh, let's get rid of this hockey stick. Holiday bell plus any type of gloves. Is there like a, an oven mitt around here? You know, I was watching, I've been watching some vloggers now because I'm trying to figure out how the fuck, how, how I'm going to do my vlogging. And I was noticing, like, you know, I was watching I, Justine. I've always liked her. I thought she, I've always thought her stuff was pretty good. And uh, even though I don't watch it, but I, I, she's like old school. She's been around since I started making videos. So, respect. But um, she, like, orders so much stuff from Amazon because she like you know reviews everything right and she's constantly like picking up new shit and she gets sent so much shit to review but her house is like pristine you know she has no clutter there's not a bunch of random shit laying around she's like how does she keep it like where does she put it all I have trouble, that, like, that's the, one of the things that I come to, uh... No, no, I'm not, like, I know she has sent stuff by companies, and maybe sometimes she sends it back, but I'm talking about, like, she just, she buys a shit ton of shit on Amazon. She talks about it, how she just, like, buys tons of stuff, and she then reviews it. She does, like, videos just reviewing Amazon shit. Uh... Yeah, like she resells it right away or something or just has a massive like fucking barn full of crap but like when I when I think about our move ah there's the MMA gloves when I think about you know this move and we're going through all our stuff that, that we have worked. to get rid of before we go to uh, and what will Frank West find here? Japan and Becky and I have been talking about how our new philosophy should be like you know don't buy it unless we like really put a lot of thought into whether we need it or not because you know when you start to look at all the stuff you and you start to realize wow I bought that thinking it was going to be super useful and then I guess hindsight's 2020 but like you look at some things and you're like that didn't end up being that great like I ended up using this way more you know what I'm saying
Um. Well, what have we here? The good thing is I kept I keep every box for everything I ever buy, so it's all down in the basement. So at least all the shit we have we can repack edge and maybe sell it for a decent amount, but I it's just like that's just fucking work. I don't like eBay, it's too much work. You know? It's like it's a lot of work. <laughs> Listing it, like packaging it up and shipping it and like but then there's, has any, any of you guys ever used those um, apps where you, uh, there's lots of different copycat apps out there, but you like take a photo, of, it's just as simple as like you take a photo of a thing and you say what neighborhood you're in, and then you meet up with the person and you exchange it. And all the payments done through the app, I guess. There's a few of them, I forget what they're called. Facebook has it. Website called Gum Gumtree. Like, I mean, Craigslist is a thing, but Craigslist is is difficult because it requires like this email back and forth. Like, you have to negotiate a time to meet up and stuff. Is Virage sale, but no app transactions. Okay. Well, there's these apps that are specifically designed to try to simplify the whole thing to make it really seamless and fast. Let go. Yeah, let go is one of them. I don't think Gumtree is really a thing here in... Tips on YouTube vlogger oh. boss. Have Christmas lights all around your bedroom. Show pets as much as possible. Talk about other vloggers and how much you love them. Well, I'll only be able to do that for vloggers I actually love. That's for sure. <laughs> And I'm a pretty ornery guy. I'm surprised I like I Justine because she's like you know really popular and kind of like I always thought that she was. It took me a long time to even watch her. I remember back in the days when I was first starting my channel and she popped up a lot. She became famous that one time when she shared her like epic iPhone bill that went viral, and I remember seeing that and being like, eh, I wasn't interested. She seemed too like you know safe and popular type of personality but her personality is actually really good uh, she's perky for sure but she's also like really quick witted I think she's actually pretty good it's, that means a lot coming from me because I have a very low low uh, tolerance <laughs> for vloggers she knows her shit too which matters like she's she actually knows her shit and she really is into gadgets and she does her due diligence like she reviews shit better than I ever could I feel like I don't have the patience to get so thorough um, also have videos called the truth I haven't been honest and it's time we talk <laughs> I'm not dramatic enough, maybe, to be a vlogger. The reason I put so much thought into this, guys, is because, you know, you're about to see me become a full-fledged vlogger. Like, I'm just warning you now. Uh, it's going to happen, and I'm a little bit excited about it, because I think I can... I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm not going to have clip bait. I'm not going to... My vlogs are going to be, our vlogs will be as chill as our show is here. You're going to see normal people being normal. <laughs> it's going to be super boring. I'm going to be using my phone mostly. I, I've been doing so much um, work researching and thinking about like what the best camera setup to use would be, what kit to put together, and it's got to be light, and nothing's quite as light as your phone, eh, but it's also got to be good quality, and in most shooting conditions, your phone, the iPhones, the, the way they are nowadays, are fucking amazing, 
except for low light. That's where they break apart. Um, the f the back camera, the primary camera, is decent. Oh my god. The primary camera is decent in low light, but the selfie camera is terrible, sadly. And that's the one I use most when I'm going to be vlogging, right? I don't think I need any more do-it-yourself grenades. I don't even really like grenades as a weapon. Whoa! <laughs> I don't know. This might have to go with this. <laughs> I mean, it's not the Santa belly, but I don't know. What do you guys think? This? I mean, this is much more with the season. Um, we'll think about it while I explore the rest of the house. But anyways, uh, so for just for low light conditions, sadly, I'll probably have to bring around an extra camera. Um, this the the LX100. It's the Panasonic equivalent of the uh, Sony RX10, or it's the LX10, which is the same as the RX100. Yeah, that's what it is. Um, it's kind of annoying because like I'll be seriously. Uh, Who knew? I'm a genius. I don't think I've used this weapon yet. Whoa, it fires things? Oh, it's like a gun. So yeah, I'll be carrying around like an extra camera just for low light situations. It's a little bit annoying, but it'll be just sitting in the backpack while the phone sits in my pocket ready to do like most of the videos. But in the instance in which I have a low light situation, or if I want to get a really artsy shot with a shallow depth of field, I won't be using it. Have you seen these vloggers? Like, I don't know if many of you watch vloggers or not, but um, a lot of them use like these DSLRs. And they look beautiful, right? Because they have that shallow depth of field, but half the time they're talking about where they are. So like the stuff in the background, which they're talking about, isn't in focus. So it may look really professional and cool, but it doesn't make sense for the situation. It's the wrong tool for the job. If you're talking, if you're like, what's up guys, here I am at like fucking wherever the fuck they are. Um, and you can't see it because it's blurry because they have this beautiful, amazing camera in their hand. In addition, half the time, that camera goes out of focus. It's constantly searching for their face because those cameras, like, they're not video cameras, so, like, most of them actually have some, like, pretty poor autofocus. I think I'm actually gonna go back in my old... I think this is a fun outfit, but I don't think it's Christmassy enough. Mega Man's on the floor? You saw a Mega Man? There's a Blanca. Capcom Tribute. <laughs> By the mirror. Do you think this computer is Mega Man? I don't see the Mega Man. He's on the magazine. Huh? Oh, like he's on a on a page on a on a Oh, that. Ah, they don't know that that's Capcom, so it didn't count as a Capcom tribute. I think the day I decided that I should be vlogging, when I fully decided that it should be a thing I do, was when we when I did the tour of Ryukyu Village. I don't know if any of you guys saw that. And it ended up coming out pretty funny, I thought. Like, I mean, I wasn't trying super hard, but it just came out. I cut out a lot of stuff. I said a lot of things that weren't funny, so 
I cut a well. I don't know. I didn't cut too much, but I did. Like when you edit it down, you can make yourself a lot funnier than you would be unedited. <laughs> and afterwards, like Becky was watching it and she was laughing, and I was like, man. I kind of feel like I want to be a vlogger. <laughs> I never really cared before. I never wanted to do that. But the thing was, because, like, what am I going to do? What am I going to do here in this province? I don't I don't find anything here interesting. As, as beautiful as I'll continue to say Vancouver is, I'm not interested in talking about any of this. I grew up with it, I guess. Like, I, yeah, I'm, I'm just in Canada. I don't want to tell you about things that, like, I find to be normal. I want to tell you about things that I'm discovering for the first time, and that's why Japan's going to be a lot of fun. This is really grisly. I should photograph this clue now. I've just been wasting time chatting with you guys. He's got a kitty. You better not be experimenting on that fucking cat. Oh, that's Dr. Barnaby. He basically created zombieism. The secret laboratory and the research project were both his, and both were abandoned on his death in 2006. You know where the lab is, don't you? We were colleagues for years. I swear on the soul of my SLR, if you tell me where the lab is, I will buy you a helicopter. Then go to the Golden Apple Winery. Barnaby built it as a front to hide the lab. Look in the cellar. I'll do that. But I have one more question, Dr. Blackburn. What's with the cat? What? Oh, he loved that. Fucking cat. Now Fuck listen. you, bitch. All the fighting will have attracted the horde. There's an exosuit in the other room. Put it on and draw them off so I can escape. How about you Go. fuck off? I'm gonna sacrifice him. You're fucking dead. You swore about the cat. Drone laws in Japan are, uh... Go on, Mr. West. Municipality to municipality is, is how the laws are drawn up. You can fly them anywhere in the country so long as it's not a built-up city area and then th you have to check with the municipal... You have to know their rules. Tokyo is a no-go, obviously. Not even allowed to fly them in the parks, Fine, unfortunately. Never get sick of this. Upgrade the exosuit. How do I do it? Do what? Oh. Oh, this is how you do it. Oh yeah. Now we're playing with that. <laughs> I've been seeing these the whole time, the, these frosty machines, but I haven't upgraded yet. Man, the future is awesome. How do I get out? Oh. Oh my god, look at this horde. This thing's like made for combos. This just keeps going. It's like unlimited combo. I don't. I 
just gonna keep on using ranged until I get to a uh, closer to the horde again. So I can keep this combo going. Running out of zombies to kill. I'm running out of zombies to kill. This should be a skin for me. This is what May would be like if Capcom had created Overwatch. I'm really hoping to make it to 2000 here. Can I get 300 more? Two hundred? Oh my god, they're so thin now. Oh my god, kill him, and then this one, and then maybe I can make it over there. This is not fair. Walk backwards while I make my way over to the other guys. Here we go, there's some more over here. Looks like maybe even some of them regenerated. That's good. No, I think they just made their way away from the house. I don't even think there's enough here to finish this. I think it takes two hits per zombie. Oh my god, did I run out of zombies? Oh, fuck off! I ran out of zombies! There was like... <laughs> oh, shit. I don't think I could have done it even if I had killed these guys here. God damn it. Oh, well, it was fun while it lasted. Um, you know, in a way, using your super makes it so that you don't get as big of a combo, right? Because when you use those super moves, it's, it only counts as one hit and the zombie dies. So if I had used only this the entire time, it would have taken forever, but I might have been able to get to 2,000 because there'd be more hits.
instead of kills. All right, where's my next destination? There's something over here I need to check out, I guess. If I were these guys, I'd just run, that's all I'm saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> like, come on. This isn't worth it for you guys. It's interesting, it counted down really fast at the end there, but during that, like, is there, why do you guys think it, it counted down really slow, like, that was the uh, longest lasting, by far, exosuit I had. The energy almost didn't go away at all while I was in that battle with those zombies. Maybe it's just story based, how long it lasted. I wish they lasted that long. It was fun. All right, I need to. Uh, there's a person in here to to free somewhere. Oh yeah, a sword. It said you were in range of a wireless charging field. When did it say that? Oh, there was a tooltip? Yeah, there's some games. Rockstar is one of the worst at this, but Capcom also seems to be uh, an offender. Um, that give you tooltips in the middle of like extreme action. So like you're getting tips and important information at a time where you cannot pay attention unless you have a Becky. Rockstar is by far the worst for that though. They're horrible. They just inundate you with tips at the beginning of the game where you're like, I don't need to, I can't, that's not something I'm going to read right now. I'm paying attention to the story. Where the fuck is this girl? I can't go upstairs. Oh, there we go. Goodbye, tire. I'll miss you in my pocket. Alright, I got some good melee weapons to start using now. I'm all stocked up. And I have a sweet new ride to get to our next destination. How do I open the door? Whoa! Really?
the fuck is MGS Ground Zeroes again? Oh, fucking the demo with Chico. Oh, man. Alright, I guess I can just drive- can I just drive out? Can I just bust through this? Oh, come on! Uh, how, where, where's the button? Where's the button? Where's the button? I want out with this. Is it this? Is this the button? No. That's where the wire- wait, where's the power? It's not even a power garage door. How is it gonna open? I can't, I can't, it's not going to work because there's no power opener. So I can't leave with this? Why would they put these in here if you're not allowed to use it? Come on, maybe if I shoot it open? This is bullshit. Wait, is that it? Open. Well, now that's just funny because there's not even a motor. <laughs> now that I... Is that the motor? Is that how that works? Okay, it's a different type of one that I'm not used to. All right, I accept it. I should stop by this place because I think there's some bonus to the fact that I got it up to level 5 that I have to go there for. Oh my god. I love the sound of this thing. I can't even leave with it! Oh, come on! Wait a minute. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> How dedicated I am I am I to this thing? <laughs> Come on, man. No, can I? I don't think it's happening. Fucking hell, man. <laughs> Why? Why? I just wanted to have a fun time. Probably would have tried longer trying to get that out, but um, my wrists are really bothering me, so doing a maneuver like that probably would just put me over the top. Yeah, I'm just gonna stop by the shelter before I uh, head on over to the next objective. Oh, I see.
Robot wrists already exist in Japan. They're the lead. They're on the forefront of exoskeletons. Don't you know? Do you ever get to relax? Don't want to go out there empty-handed, do you? Ooh, shopping. See you soon, hopefully. I think it's hey, just man. the benefits yeah, are. Got some good supplies. Yeah. You just get to buy these, which is like, who cares if we get it to level five? I mean, I'll buy it because I don't. So you found something you like, huh? Because who know, cares about you can scrap? Never be too careful. But I don't think that we there's. Can work out a deal. I don't think you get anything else. There goes the finest man I ever met. Hey, man. You're all right. Got some good supplies. <laughs> you won't last long out there if you're not prepared. This looks fun. Let's just do this for fun. Thank you. Oh my god, look at it. <laughs> I want the blueprint for this, holy shit. Oh my goodness. Oh, I want this blueprint. All right, the funny thing is that's my destination. <laughs> so I'm doing nothing basically. Oh wow, those maps really did open up everything. Here, I'm gonna go down and save this guy. Barely, I can barely fit out. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Don't you. Don't. Alright. Yay. Oh, it's satisfying sounding. Oh, it's got a boost with R1. What's L1? Oh my goodness. Whoa, it feels good. What? What? Oh, I pressed circle by accident. Come on. Come on. Come. Get me back in it. Oh. Zombie farm? Whoops! Uh, I actually needed to be up there. It's my bell gloves. I wonder if there is a, a power up nearby, something to upgrade this with. 
That's all I'm really interested in is getting the, the super upgrades for these things so that they, like, it's really awesome. What? What? Oh, that'd make me remove my suit. It wouldn't upgrade the suit. Oh! No. I know in that barn up there, there's an upgrade. There's a, a vacuum upgrade. I'm looking for new ones, though. I want to get the fly swatter that I saw in that one vehicle. Ah, eh, whatever. Kind of disappointing how few zombies there are in the field at the farm. I wish there was more. I'm already almost out of power. There's not even a, like an upgrade for increasing the the charge time of the exo suit. It's kind of odd to me that that wouldn't be like a, a thing that you can level up. Where was I headed? Um, oh yeah, down there. I wanted to go down there. Save that survivor for whatever reason. I don't know why. It's because it's a thing to do. This is one of the most satisfying sounding vehicles, that's for sure. I have to hit save somebody on the farm? It's weird. really odd. Oh, uh, huh? Who needs saving? What? Hey, pal. Oh, he needs hey. a favor. My friend is missing I think Tom had something to do with it. He's gone crazy, my friend. Okay. Find his buddy. Is that like activated then? Because it's still on the... Can I say okay? Oh, there we go. I guess okay. Oh, you're a lifesaver. Thanks. <laughs> Oh my god, I have to go fast. Where is it? Alright, it's back on the farm. I know where that is, at least. Oh, 
What the hell did I just hit? Okay. It's fine. <laughs> oh, they're up there. You guys come down to me. I don't want to get out. I think I just accidentally dropped my blam blow and picked up a fucking crossbow because I pressed circle at the wrong time. But there's no time. I was wondering why they were doing that. I'll just run the rest of the way. This thing is a little bit difficult to maneuver in close quarters. Who would have died if it weren't for you? Thank you. So it's a wheelchair and a tractor that creates. That's just fucking hilarious. <laughs> now they're just like, because the wheelchair's in the middle, yeah, obviously that, that combos, I get it. <laughs> if you don't have the wheelchair, you can't make it. Well, I gotta get the blueprint eventually. I, I, I really love this vehicle. Who knows which blueprint it'll end up being, though. Don't make me leave this behind. God. Damn it, maybe I'll be able to finish up in there and then come out. You know, I was looking at the, uh, I should finish this first and then I'll talk to you guys. What the hell? there's a lull in the action. Um, there's only one soldier protecting the place. Kind of weird. Find Barnaby's lab. Now, if I were a secret lab, where would I be? Nothing up here. 
Uh, I was looking at the Japanese equivalent of Etsy. I think it's called, uh, I forget the name now. Well, Commander Fountainhead was about as useful as you think. I'm sure 99% of it was- But they sell food too. Bullshit. She said the outbreak was the fault of terrorists and then tried to blame it on Frank and me and yada yada yada, total bitch face. But she also said the directing scientist died at Ground Zero, Dr. Diane Blackburn. Thing is, I have eyewitness accounts that Blackburn is still alive or that she survived the outbreak. Which means Fontana is trying to keep me from getting to her. Which means I'm just gonna have to look even harder, aren't I? Um, Etsy is for small time, yeah, it's for like people who make anything from crafts to like handiwork and stuff, but what's the name of this one that I found? It's still up on my computer. It's called, wait a minute, I'll see if I can read it. Oh fuck, I can't make it out. M-I-N-N-E, mini, I guess? Uh, everything on there is so inexpensive. It's like handmade stuff and it's really affordable on there. Like I've seen Etsy and I think that you can get some bargains on there, but in general you're paying a premium because people are making this shit, like they're putting their time into it. And then in addition, they have to put the cost of shipping on there. And I guess that's the biggest thing is that when they're selling within America, shipping costs quite a bit. But like in Japan, shipping is so inexpensive within the country. So anyways, oh, man. I thought it was a cute site. You should check it out, Yusuke. Yeah, the food looks delicious, some of it. Like, baked goods and stuff. Obviously, this isn't stuff that you'd probably be shipped. It's probably like a, a pickup or, or at least only local shipping. Well, I mean, anything can probably be shipped from one spot to another in Japan within a day. But shipping, like, all over Japan, in like, shipping within the country is so cheap. It's so refreshing to see that. Where is my notebook? Check my, uh... I have 10 skill points that I haven't been using. What a dummy. Well, maybe I don't even want to use them yet. Level 60, metabolic boost, heal past the base. Wow. You can heal past what you have. Oh, I want more stamina. I love stamina. Stamina. Uh, stamina no longer consumed at level 100. I didn't put any points in the shooting, and I still don't want to. I don't see any point of it. I think I'm just gonna wait a bit. I don't know, like until I hit level 65 and then I'll spend all my points. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait till level 65.
Hey, Yusuke, what do you think of that site? I think it's pretty cute. I think the prices are decent. What the hell happened over there? Might buy some things on there. Promising. I think it looks really neat, especially for maybe creating those packages I wanted to talk about. I was talking about making, sending to like that. If we were to start like a a Patreon specific to our our travels in Japan and our, then we would have that reward tier called Omiyage, where we'd create custom custom packages that we'd send to people and I think handmade stuff from Japan would be really neat. I'm glad you're interested in it. I'm sorry to say it'll probably be a little bit expensive because um, it's gonna be a lot of work, and Becky and I aren't gonna like be running a hey, shipping Brad, company. That's not what we specialize in. Was already here, though. Uh, so it'll be it'll be it, your money would be better spent on like if you just want stuff from Japan on one of those Japan loot boxes that they have. Those companies. This will be something very special, like type of thing. Like my estimation is you'd be getting like, you know, 20 to $50 worth of goods for probably like, I'm just gonna guess like, probably take a, look around. a few hundred dollars or something, like at least 200. Um, that's how we'd probably price it. Cause it, like we would plan on putting a lot of work into it and a lot of care. A fart idea. Get to work. <sighs> blah, 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 blah. So, put away for safekeeping. Obscurus sure does love files, and Burnaby's IT guy is gonna be pissed. Huh, there you go. That's that Shit. one. They took Barnaby's computer stuff. I never love to get my hands on that. There we go. A hat costs ten dollars to ten thousand to four thousand. Yeah, it's pretty reasonable when you consider that it's um, handmade. Look up, uh, look up on their like tiny bread, tiny like baked goods, miniature baked goods. I think that they're not edible, but like I just the reason I found this site is because I was watching YouTube. I was watching a guy who reviews camera equipment, but he made a video about this girl because he's also a filmmaker, and he like I was watching this video of his that he like filmed her making these little things. She bakes tiny loaves of bread and then slices them up into and then toasts them, and then puts on like little miniature like dollops of jam and like creates simulated like little eggs and then I guess she like dips it in something that like preserves it forever and then sells it like it's like fake food which is all the rage in Japan fake food um I haven't seen solo travel blog no but uh Bingo. Were you watching Rachel and Jen? I don't know why. Did they do that? Aww. Mr. Flamel, what the fuck is this? Huh? <laughs> I guess Barnaby really did love his cat. I love my cat. Uh, 
Oh, they did a fake food thing? No, I, I uh, found out about it, fake food from Yusuke. I never knew about it until Yusuke showed me. I didn't know about Rachel and Jun until this year. <laughs> I didn't know about J vloggers till this year. No, Yusuke was my introduction to fake food in Japan. I love my cats. I love them all. Basco sandwiches made of felt. Yeah, it's uh, there's a yeah there's a video on YouTube that shows her making the uh, little toasts. Anyways, stuff like that could be a, a really neat to send to people. Just Stateside. Come on, Frank. The files are all gone. Shit. Damn. It looks like Obscure has confiscated everything. Makes sense. They keep it in some kind of intelligence lockup. Probably at the base. Oh, right. So all I need to do is penetrate a fortress filled with trained assassins and steal their shit. Great. Well, hold on. There's another door. Where the hell is the cell phone? Oh, there it is. Wow, oh, they hid that one away good. Your mom makes a lot of the spirit. That's cute. What is your mom, what's your mom's occupation? What are you, what do your parents do, Yusuke? I never asked. What are their jobs? I wonder. F-L-A-M-L. Barnaby, you huge idiot. Holy shit. Okay. I retired now. Mom was an accountant, dad was an engineer. Cute. Jesus. Nice.
Yay, Blambo! Can't get enough of that Blambo. Oh yeah, where is our magic wand? Do you want me to use it? Sure. Oh, where'd it go? I think I dropped it at one point. I, I seem to remember that now. Shit. I'm sorry if you wanted to see. I'm sure I'll get another one. I think it was while I was using... Um, yeah, I think it was when I was using one of the uh, exosuits. And I didn't have time to pick it back up because I was doing my exosuit combos. Oh, it is a ranged device. Actually, wait. Yeah, no, I got rid of it. Oh, wait. That's still not ranged. It's still not in here. I want to fight the special zombies. Nope. I have the wrong hat on. Damn it. Smart zombie, murder zombie, I don't know. Note to self, come up with a better name than murder zombie. Then I was contacted by Dr. Diane Blackburn, an obscure scientist and a one-time associate of Dr. Barnaby. Yeah, you remember that old fruit, right? Basically invented zombieism, died years back in the original Willamette outbreak. His personal notes and research were never found. Why did he create Blackburn zombieism? A secret lab up at the Golden Apple Wine Does anybody know that? Weird science, weird zombies, weird, weird, and more weird. Basically, I got nothing for it. Obscurus had already taken all of Barnaby's files. Whatever he was working on, Obscurus wanted it bad. Real bad. And that means it's got to be real good. How did cattle creating tech become zombie? I need to get Barnaby's research back from Obscurus. Hey, man, it's Frank West. Yeah, look, I need your help breaking to the Obscurus base. A little busy by now, Frank. Oh, come on, it'll take what, an hour, Tobbs? Why are you whispering? You want to talk? Come find me in West Ridge, in the big houses. I'm off the radar. Talk later. Wait, wait, which, which house? Damn it. Ah, oh, great. I think I'll be knocking on some doors. Oh, fuck. I still don't know why they put fucking stealth into this game. Like, why would you ever stealth? I was doing it out of sick fascination there. Why would zombie cows mean more meat? You have to still create the cow. Oh, because the zombie cows don't eat as much? So, well that's still, like, how could that meat be good?
I need a vehicle. Oh yeah, I left my awesome vehicle. I hope it's still there. Is it? It's gone. There you go. I would have died if it weren't for you. <laughs> fish launcher. Thanks for the fish launcher. Fucking useless. Why aren't I getting a combo meter for this? Oh, it actually has an ending. Fake creator needs some inspiration from you guys. Might as well get a quick... Combo here. Easy combo. I love this how dense this area is in zombies. This won't take too long. That didn't take long to save him. Like, are you seeing this? It's incredible what they've done with crowds. Like, I guess it's because they're because they're zombies. They can use so much repetition in the sprites, where that might be more noticeable if you used humans. But I don't know. I just feel like too many games phone it in when it comes to crowds.
right, my fun's over. I need a vehicle. God damn it. I'm impressed, dude. Oh, that's the fucking fish launcher! <laughs> fucking bullshit. That was pretty cool. You're worth riding home with that. Well, I mean, you know, Nilani said that it's easier to program their movements because they don't have to worry about pathfinding. That's true. If you're doing a crowd of humans that needs to actually. I guess what I get to do now. Um, but what if I just want a crowd of people, like, you know, hanging out, doing nothing, don't, not working around in pathfinding. They could just be sitting around, just being background, like, you know, loitering. I think one of the greatest, like, examples of how a crowds were like completely unused, like no crowds at all where there should have been was Bioshock Infinite when you first arrived. There should be tons of people. It should feel like a living city, but there was like, it felt like nobody lived there. It felt like seven people lived there or something when you're first introduced to it. All right, this is going to be fun. I get to put on the exosuit and, well, I'll leave the rest as a surprise to you guys in case you didn't know what's about to happen. I've been wanting to do this for a while. <laughs> All right, I gotta get over to some zombies. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> it's a satisfying sound. <laughs> All right. Go over here where there's more. Uh, it's almost dead. It's almost, it's not even a good weapon. It's just for fun because it's almost done. Yeah, it's done. All right. Well, it was fun while it lasted. It was silly. All right. I need a, uh, I haven't seen that yet. That's fun. All right, where am I going? Over here. Hammond's gotta be in one of these houses, but which one? <laughs> Don't call me sunshine, dude. It creeps me out. There's only one person who calls me Sunshine.
All right, so. I need to go in the house first. I've already been in this house, wasn't I? Or they just used an exact duplicate of a house I was in earlier? Oh, the stairs are uncleared now. Last time I was here, you couldn't get up here. I see. That's how they did it. When I wake up and find myself strung up by my own spinal cord, having my face chewed off. Great. Now I'm. I see movement. Whoa! Why was he just sitting there by himself? That was weird. Oh, if they fuck up Dragon Age 4, I'll just be so upset. I can't, you can't really, you can't blame the team for the failure of the, of Andromeda. The buck stops with the man at the top. You can't tell me that, like, B team is made up of untalented people. They're only called B team because, I mean, they're just not the primary team. It doesn't mean that they're, like, made up of, like, the worst people. And I bet you a lot of people move between the teams. What really comes down to is the guys at the top and whether they were capable of wrangling the talent that they had at hand into something, a good end product. It, the, the blame lies with the, the, the producer, the director, the creative leads and possibly with the suits if they were the ones who impeded said producers, creative leads, and directors. Management took away the experienced people, so it was like less experienced people that were left to try to fend for themselves. Yeah, that sounds like something about right. You think she's watching us? Who can say? Hey. What happened to you? Tom blamed me for the raid, even though he knew it wasn't our fault. He's insane. He's locked people in the cellar. He's banished people. He's put people on trial like he's Henry VIII. And then there's these rumors of people disappearing without a trace. Well, what are you going to do? <laughs> I'm going to kill him. 
And I'm hoping you're gonna help. So what's first? There's civilians at Tom's farm. We need to get them somewhere safe. I'll take care of it. You just get me into that base. We're on it. All right, Frank's doing something without any promise of reward. Team of siege isn't exactly our style. We'll get slaughtered. Think positive, Connor. I'm positive we'll get slaughtered. Leave the base to me and Jordan. You three, focus on the evacuation. I saw a couple of buses out by the mall. We could use those to move people. Good idea. Jessa, can you get them running? Yeah, I'll work my magic. That bitch will be locked and loaded. Yeah, and I'll get some salvage to reinforce the exterior. Oh, that's nice. Tank boss! There's a cell phone nearby. <laughs> Fuck is this cell phone? Oh, there it is. Yeah, Frank's motivations don't make a lot of sense here. He's not really a guy in this game who has done anything without something in return. In fact, he, that exact character, Hammond, that he's about to help out, was one that he kind of like blew off earlier. When she needed help. But oh well, it's not a game that really takes itself seriously, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> she called him Muffin. What do we have here? If Tom suspects... He doesn't suspect anything. If he did, we'd be dead. You willing to test that theory? See who lasts. <laughs> oh, you can't eat food while you're on that. All right, I better. Oh, I haven't used this yet. that sound. So this game was made in this town. That I'm in currently. Vancouver, you know the one. It's the one I'm always talking about. Where am I 
supposed to go? Oh wow, I have to go all the way up there? Oh man, I hope this... I wish I had my other vehicle. Wait, maybe I should go buy another one. No, it's too far away. Maybe I could buy one right there. To go the rest of the way with. Hey, there's a combo. This might be better. Let me see if I like this one better. I don't think I've used this one. Oh, fuck! Everybody! Fuck! Ah! Yeah, I haven't used this one yet. Yay. All right, what does it do? It drives, normal like. That's fine. It's got two spinning elephant statues on top that are attached to, and then there's Christmas tree lights strung between. There's two fridges with refreshments on the back. L1 sprays oil. R1 grills, gets the grill going. Can I combine those two to like... I don't see the point of the oil, it doesn't seem to do anything. I have to get out so I can heal. I hate that I have to get off to heal. Yeah, it's a deep fryer on the back. I just don't know how to use this thing. Hey, who's still shooting me? Fuck off, man. All right, so the oil, oh, it does set them on fire, the oil. So it's not just priming them to be fried. And then this kind of attracts them to it, I think. And here's the square, here's the super attack in a second. Silly. I'll go the long way around, I guess, so I can maximize my killing. Uh-oh. Do I want to do this event? This thing, this vehicle's a little bit annoying. Man, I hate guys shooting me like this when I'm having fun. It's like, fuck off, I'm in a vehicle right now. Stop it. Stop it, I have to get out to heal, don't you understand? It's really annoying that you're shooting me with so many bullets. <laughs> this isn't very effective against these types of enemies. Hmm, is there anything special nearby that I could use this on? I think I'm just near the church again. 
Or is this a different place? Whatever. I don't know about this vehicle, guys. It's, it handles really poorly. I might even switch. Okay, is there a... Uh, if I see a snowmobile nearby, I'll be able to switch to that one, but I don't see a snowmobile. It's so bad. It doesn't even get over zombies very well. It's like, it doesn't plow through them. The point of a vehicle is so that I can get point A to point B quicker. Well, at least I'd like it to. And then it's special. The square button kind of ruins my combo. It makes it really hard to get back on track again. This isn't, it doesn't really help. The donut. It shoots things out at the same time, <laughs> which is kind of funny, I guess, but. I'll be swapping this thing out for the ATV comboed with the uh, the uh, other thing, the uh, military vehicle. I think that's it. Uh, are you dead? Merry Christmas! Hey! I'm at level 65, which means I get to uh, do this. Extra melee slot. They don't seem to really matter anymore now, though. Extra food inventory, why not? Sure, we'll do that one. Now I can really buy things at vendors without having to worry about it, I guess. We'll see how much the prices go down. I'm gonna do the overheal for fun, I guess. After breaking a melee weapon, all damage is increased for a short time. Okay. Kills the attacking zombie after successfully escaping the grapple, sure. Increases the damage of combo vehicle attacks. Okay. All right. No, I don't like shooting. It's, I mean, it's powerful as it is, so who cares? Like, it's not that, I only do it out of necessity, usually, the shooting, when it, like, the moment requires it. It's not something you want to do for fun. Because it's not as fun. Mm. 
Let's see if the damage feels like it's been upped. I mean, it already ruined zombies without any trouble before, so... Good times. Oh, it's rumbling on my belly. It feels good. Lots of rumble. Uh oh, no zombies. Aw, oh, boo. I have to lose my combo because of that? Come on. No zombies? We got some trouble in paradise, Brad. Hammond needs my help in a coup against Tom. Huh. Let me know where that goes. I never saw this place. Fun. Do I care about the survivor? Eh, I guess. Grab those. Wait, what did you give me? Deck the halls. Oh, I know these. Rick wants love for Christmas. Is that still on Netflix? I saw somebody tweet about it the other day saying they love that awesome beast theater. Uh-oh. 
Uh oh, I'm out of healing. I gotta be careful now. I should have paid more attention. I need a better weapon! Oh my god. Give me, give me booze. Oh, it's this shitty weapon. I don't even want this. This thing's really hard to use. Great. We'll start moving the people over there. I'll meet you outside the base. This post-apocalyptic barter system is really working for me. I was asking if uh, Small Town Santa was on Netflix. With, uh, Dean Cain. It's a Dean Cain Christmas is what we also like to call that film. I wonder if this is accessible yet. And this one too. I could have picked this up all. Wow. chemicals and uh, I don't even want to make Jurassic Park. I'm not big into using the helmet. I, I, I only really like the Blanca mask electricity helmet uh, attack. I'm not big on the ones that spit. Thanks for looking that up. I love that movie. Why would I fight those guys? I'm out of here. Oh yeah, this place. I, I, I still don't think I can get in there to get the blueprint. It was la locked last time I checked here. Why is he hiding?
damn it. Still can't get in there. Oh well. Jarheads did a piss poor job on this wall, so we're gonna blow it up. Look for a weak spot with that fancy camera of yours. That looked pretty yet. fun. So I need to get into that it's all in the timing. So suit time. Extra size, extra 
derby track. Is that a lot? Once you're through, take out the turn control center, and you get a lot less heat later on. <laughs> that was good. Oh man. I guess I could be using my minigun now. Why would they put a big button on the ground that destroys the whole thing? <laughs> Why would they install that button? The destroy the thing button. Am I supposed to get that guy? Am I even supposed to get him? Maybe I'm just supposed to go in here. Now I have to defeat him, so I guess I better... I don't know if he's within flamethrower range. Well, this is frustrating, because... am I supposed to do if I can't reach him? And I don't have any long... Oh, here we go. There's this. But if I was out of both bullets... I forgot that this was over here. Man, if I didn't have this, I don't know what the fuck I'd do right here. There we go.
starting to get a bit bleary eyed right now. I'm just on autopilot. Murder, death, kill mode. I have nothing to say. I have nothing to add to this. I hope they had good life insurance. Uh, 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 uh. Be sure to smash that like button. can't pick that up. I see, because he has these weird hands now. Okay, you're almost there. You've got a clear path to that. Oh, shit. Problems? I can keep the base entrance open from here, but you need to hurry or I'm zombie field. Hang on, I'm almost there. I think. Oh, I gotta just skip this. I see. I gotta use that for fun. Yay! Aww. <laughs> well, I'm back in a comfy outfit at least. I need to find Barnaby's research. Brad said it'd be in some kind of intelligence lockup. Gonna need to look around. Oh my goodness. Oh. I think it might be my bedtime soon. Frank is back in Willamette. And surprise, he brought a stupid smug face with him. You know, for a second, I was actually glad to see him. I thought, finally, together we'll make some progress. Once he sees how the people are doing, he'll... You know what? Never mind. <laughs> Screw that guy. You know what? I'm a little radio silence. If you like. She's got such a hate boner. Facility, huh? Based off the work of the late great Dr. Barnaby, perhaps? What is this? Brain teasers? What are you gonna send them to college? <laughs> He was trying to educate the zombies or make them smarter. Oh, 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 no.
find one. Hey there, little guy. The last clue is Obscura sure does love memos. So the idea was to get zombies to become workers. That's what they were trying to do. I get it. So he's trying to salvage his mistake with making zombie cows and make them into something that is at least a little bit useful to humanity. Oh, it's just sitting there. I'm not huge on this whole reporter aspect. Sometimes it is interesting, but... That'd be too easy. Brad said all the stuff he took from Barnum's lab would be some kind of intel lockup, which is somewhere else. Okay, gotta keep looking. Lockdown terminated. Have a nice day. Screw you, door. He was just banging his head against the wall, that one. Alright, you got him all. Now where's this intel lockup? Gosh damn, there must be thousands of files here. on Barnaby's lab. The tag has coordinates. I don't get it. What's going on here? Why is it only flicker for a second? files all stamped November 25th. There we go, Barnaby's missing computer stuff. Retrieved by Recon Team Nova 6. What is that? So they raided Barnaby's lab on November 25th. That'll be the data I need to find the right info.
Alright, let's see. November. Yes! Oh, yes! You are one sexy little surveillance record. I'm gonna take you to a computer and watch you so hard. Hey. Hey there, little guy. How you doing? Oh, you piece of shit. Damn. Guess you ought to be more careful next time. What happened? You got my way. Power coming on. All right. Hanson, perimeter. Copy. Vargas, inventory. Pick it, tag it, cat it. Roger that. We'll call it. Get your head out of your ass. Power and safety. I don't want any accidents. Already on. See your team is inbound. They're going to be here within the hour. I want this place mapped out. You hear me? Can't wait yes. to kill this guy. Good. September 19th, 2006, Dr. Russell Barnaby. This is likely my final progress report. There's been an outbreak in the Willamette Mall. I didn't cause it. I don't know who did it. I don't even know how it's possible. Entertainment leads me. I just I don't know. The experiment is incomplete. Conservatively, it needs another 50 years research. All the data is there, uploaded into Good. my primary storage. That's what we're talking about. Let's get it. Perhaps some smart young scientist can make use of it. Downloading. The treatment itself remains locked at 62% effectiveness. It represents the pure truth of my creation. Oh, there? Undeath, they call it. <laughs> the world has known no greater irony. Take away the decay. The bestial wrath, the failure of the mind. Ask yourself, what remains? A zombie is just a man who never tires, never sickens, never ages. Indeed, zombies are the key to human immortality. And yet, since the livestock angle didn't pan out, oh, these Pentagon idiots remain fixated on weaponizing the plague. Proof of that, I, too, have put in a safe place. Well, I've been summoned by an unknown agent, likely to my death. The voice was familiar, perhaps an employee or citizen of Santa Cabeza. If so, I must go prepared. If anyone survived that incident, and if they know my name and contact information, it is likely they blame me for what happened. Additionally, the infected population grows apace. If I was a sane man, I would stay below. But I must confess to an irrational desire to witness my handiwork. Should I become infected, I must return here and use the test chamber. A last ditch effort to save myself from the plague I created. So then, farewell. Let it be known that I fought to my last to protect life. And yet, in so doing, Wow, that's a pretty good representation of a person zombifying.
Oh, shit. It's Fontana. You don't scare me. I know who started the outbreak. It was Calder, one of your soldiers. Charlie's spot. Redeployed in the basement. Flush him out. I gotta get the hell out of here. What have we here? Ah! Oh. Oh. So warm. Frank, you there? What's going on? Uh, a little busy, but the cliff notes are that Calder asshole's got our big scoop and Fontana's trying to murder me. Wait, what? Trapped! Monster asshole! Fontana, talk later! <laughs> the way he fell. That's pretty good. I don't recall authorizing your press pass. Uh, I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to finish Barnaby's research. Partly zombies him into some kind of immortality treatment. You're trying to make a mint off a bunch of aging millionaires. That was the plan, but I guess immortality isn't as profitable as cheap labor. What? At first... The client just wanted to exploit Dr. Barnaby's research, but then these things, these smart zombies, started showing up and the mission changed. Pacify, domesticate, and train. <sighs> You're plundering soldiers, aren't you? You're gonna make some kind of undead army. Are you out of your mind? You think anyone's gonna set these things loose with a gun? No. No, the plan was coffee farmers. Really? Oh, well, there is a lot of money in coffee. Or manufacturing, or meatpacking, or, or fucking fruit, I don't know. Peanuts. Peanuts are hard to harvest, just a thought. Cheap, <laughs> honest labor, exported to whoever's buying. It's all about this with these guys. Yeah, but who are these guys? You are, Frank. Assuming you pay your taxes. I have to fight her? I like her. I thought that maybe she would end up being like, I've had enough of this shit. Or something, like, and join me. I guess that was hoping too much. Whoa, she's good, shit. <laughs> it's the mouse stomping guy. what I needed. So Hammond took a break from planning a revolution to help me bust into the base. Okay, we may have left the front door open behind us. The carnage was, well, let's just say they got what they deserved. I learned Obscurus was using Barnaby's research to create zombie slaves. 
which is multiple shades gross. And Calder? Here's a good one. Stop me if you've heard it before. An exosuit and a zombie have a baby. It's large, angry, and has the data I need to crack this thing wide open. And I need it now more than ever, because with Fontana dead, there's no way to prove that this whole thing is the government's handiwork. And that's the punchline. Ooh, you've earned a bazooka cannon. We made a lot of progress today. This is where I go to bed. I'm fading fast. Oh my god, it's 1 a.m.? I started the show late. I forgot how they started it. I gotta get out of this death trap and find Calder. I need that hard drive. Oh god! Somebody! Please help! Dude, come on, what does it take to save this guy? How am I supposed to save this fucker? Like, I have to kill every fucking zombie in the area? What the fuck? They don't even have, like... Please don't leave me here. I'm... There's a lot of zombies to kill, man. And they keep on coming from all around. So, I don't think, like, you'll ever be saved. Oh, that was the one, huh? That one in particular. That wasn't what's supposed to happen. He killed my truck. He killed it. I'm running. You gotta love how easily easily this slices through zombies. It's like there's it doesn't get tripped up at all. There's other vehicles that are way bigger that like slow down when they start hitting zombies. Thank <laughs> you. 
Wait, do I have the blueprint to combine a hearse and a tow truck? I don't think so. Damn. <laughs> so a great song. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, man, am I tired. Oh! It's time to go snuggle with some kitties. Oh. That was a good stretch. Merry Christmas! Thanks for watching everybody, we'll see you next time. Um, probably find some time to play tomorrow on Christmas Eve as well. Maybe we'll finish up this game. Not like the story, you know, the, the gameplay or the, the campaign is just like, it feels like busy work. It's not particularly fun. It's nowhere near as fun as the parts where you're not doing anything, <laughs> you know? Mowing down zombies and just running around racking up points it just feels like the campaign you're just being told to go here now go here now go here it's like meh but uh it's still a fun atmosphere to play and hang out in now it's night again so it's back to nighttime um christmasy feeling all right guys see you next time goodbye merry christmas